My name is James Joyce, Command Sergeant Major, retired U.S. Army, and I'm the, the head curator here of the uh, Heritage Park Veterans Museum. Our museum is uh, quite unique in the fact that it's uh, totally unfunded from any um, county facility that we have. Everything you see in this building is um, either donated or, or on long-term loan to us. This museum opened on Veterans Day 2010. Uh, the day we opened, we had five glass display cases, or nine mannequins and 15 uniforms, and that's what we started with. And since then, it's, it's evolved into what you see now. We have uh, uniforms and displays from World War I to present, um, including the two Medal of Honor recipients from the Henry County, Georgia area. We have 10 volunteers right now that are from every branch of service. Of the 10, um, seven are combat veterans, um, five are retirees, and a couple of us are combat veterans two times or more over. The museum itself is, uh, it, it, it's really a unique place for a lot of people. Um, we have a lot of schools that come in on field trips and they, um, it's, it's a teaching area for them. We have a lot of families that come in because somebody in their family um, has served in the military. And so it's a, it's a place of reverence for them. We have a lot of veterans that come in and it's a, uh, it's a place of healing for those guys. Well, right now we're sitting in the library, and uh, originally this was a Eagle Scout project. Uh, the Eagle Scout had the furniture donated, the carpet, and he and his dad, I believe, painted the place here, and this was his project to earn his Eagle Scout. Uh, since we've moved in here about three years ago, we have like somewhere in the neighborhood of 800 books which are all donated to the library, to the museum. I'm a retired cabinet maker, so I redid these shelves, built new shelves and everything. And the little things that are in here are called dioramas, and there's something like 52 or so, or 61, I can't remember exactly. And some of these dioramas took him up to six months to make, so they're real special. And he donated the whole collection to the museum. I'm very proud to be a part of this museum. There's about uh, 10 of us that volunteer here. Uh, lucky enough to have up here to uh, about a couple, 300 yards away from the museum is a Veterans Wall of Honor. And it was done very professionally and laid out exceptionally well that I think any veteran when it comes up and views it will take pride in. We have the flags behind the wall of all 50 states. On the walkway leading up to the wall, we have the uh, crest of each, the flag of each of the branches of the service. And on the wall itself, to the front of the wall, there is picturing of different episodes and different eras from the uh, early wars that the country has been involved in all the way up to the present day. And along, also along the back of the wall, when you come visit, you want to be sure you get back there to see that. But we're lucky enough to have that to tie in with our museum, which kind of completes your visit here to give you the total experience of what it's like for the men that has served and protected our country. And we're looking at less than one half of 1% of our population currently serves in the military. At this, this room here is our, our Wall of Honor room. And as you can see, there's 49 pictures of, of fallen Georgia heroes on this wall. Um, this room is very special, even the acoustics are a little bit different in this room. It's a room where people and, and just everyday people and the families can come and, and just be around their loved one that, that gave everything for this country. On this wall we have two World War II veterans, two Vietnam veterans, and, and two women veterans on this wall. Um, and it's extremely important that we never forget these folks. So this is a very special room. Say that every morning when we come in and we turn the lights on in this building, our first stop is this room, where we 
tell these guys, good morning. Um, the last thing we do in the evenings before we lock the door is we'll come to this room and, and tell these folks good night.